Hey everyone, today I'm going to be comparing the price of different popular AI models. So I'm going to be comparing the prices between ChatGPT, Gemini, Llama, Anthropic. Um, these, these are some popular AI models. And I'll be comparing them, or I'm going to be calculating the price on a real world task that I'm doing. And then just comparing the price, like how much money it would take me to like do that task that I want to do. And then compare them that way. So... Um, I already did the work of looking through all of the different AI model pricing pages. So you can see I'm looking at the open AI pricing. That's the link. I'll put all the links inside the description. But this is the Gemini. You want to see anthropic pricing. A lot of them is just like slash pricing. Um, Grok. Grok, you kind of have to log in to look at the price for some reason. But yeah, I pretty much did all the work to grab all the different... Um, prices and then I threw them into this like um, table right here and I already pre-calculated a lot of the different rows but I'm gonna also calculate these two missing rows live so you can see how to look at the API costs for a specific AI model and then calculate the costs for whatever you're trying to do so you can see right now, um, the first thing that you probably noticed is that all of these AI models are priced in the same way. They're priced by the number of input tokens and all of them are like by million input tokens and then by million output tokens. You also notice that output tokens are more expensive than input tokens. If you don't know what input and output tokens are, essentially input tokens are the, the tokens that you pass into the model. So if I ask like a really big, like write me some JavaScript code, right? Like if we put this into a tokenizer, we can see that this text, it, it looks like it breaks it up by words, but this text costs six tokens, right? So that's the number of input tokens and like let it run, let it run. We'll just stop it early. We'll go back to the tokenizer. And you could see like the output, it output 94 tokens. So usually AI pricing is pretty simple. It just counts up how much input tokens, like how, how, how many words essentially you passed in. Um, depends on the map model. Some models are by character, some models are by words, some models are probably by other things. But it basically counts up how much words you pass into the model and then also how many words the model like shoots out and then it like the pricing is different based on like the input like you'll apply the price on the input tokens and then add it to the price of the output tokens and you find you get like the final result and it's usually by the million by the million tokens so let's see what was i going to do um Let's just, let, let me just look through this quickly. Just to make this quick, I guess, um, let's just calculate some of this out. So, O1 preview, right? Where is I? O1 preview right here. You can see O1 preview is like $15 per million to input tokens and $60 per million output tokens, right? And if you look into the pricing for OpenAI. You could see that I didn't make up that number. That number is super expensive and it cost me a lot of money already, but it's right here. $15 per million output tokens and $60 per million output tokens. So uh, that's the price. Caching input tokens is like a t whole different, um, whole different thing. But also one thing that you need to note about O1 preview or these other O1 reasoning models is that when you pass in an input, it starts, it, it has like, it creates these reasoning tokens because essentially it has an internal chain of thought where it's thinking about the response before it gives you the final response. So maybe if you ask it a question, it might have like three or it might think for like 30 seconds. And while it's thinking for that 30 seconds, it's generating tokens. And th that those tokens are actually used or counted as output tokens, not input tokens. 
So right here it says output tokens include internal reasoning tokens generated by the model that's not visit not visible by the API response. So I, I have another video coming up on this, but for these reasoning models, you'll pay for the input tokens and then you'll pay for the output tokens, which is what it outputs. But there's these also these internal reasoning tokens that like basically when it's thinking, there can, these tokens are counted and these tokens are counted as output tokens. And you can see output tokens are way more expensive than input tokens. So this internal chain of thought could literally make you spend $137 in one night and just click back on my last video and, and you'll see exactly how that happened to me. Cool. So yeah, so let's see, O1 preview is about 15 million or $15 per million and $60 per 1 million output tokens. So the tasks that I'm generating are lesson plans. So I, I've been working on this class pilot application. It's, it's, it's made for teachers and we're basically generating lessons for teachers. So they don't have to think about what lesson they have to teach the kids and make it engaging and things like that. They just come in here, select what subject they are teaching, the grade they're teaching. And then once they select the grade and subject, they can choose like a specific skill. And here's a lesson and all these lessons are AI generated. You can see this is like the the one generated from the AI and this one was generated by for GPT 4.0. I have a link to the lesson here and I also have a link to the prompt. Yeah. So this these will will count these up as our input tokens and then this lesson that it generated will be counted as will like count up the output tokens of those. Let's see. What else? Um, then we'll be able to calculate the, the cost per one lesson. And then I, you can see here that we've already generated almost 10,000 lessons. So we'll take the cost per lesson and then times it by the number of lessons generated here. And we'll calculate the cost, the final cost it took to generate all the lessons in this website if we used a specific AI model. So that's kind of what we already did here. You can see with GPT 4.0, it costs about one cent per lesson. And if we had to generate like all 9,952 um, lesson plans, that would have cost us $99, right? So Gemini 1.5 Pro would have cost us almost 60. Llama 70B is very cheap, um, almost 13. So let, let, let me just do this like completely from scratch. So you could see how it looks. So Basically, if we want to calculate the cost of O1 preview, we know it's 15 million over 1 million, right? So to get the price, or it's $15 per million tokens. So to get the price, all you, to get the price per token, you pretty much just take 15 and you divide it by 1 million and that's the price per token, right? Once you have the price per token, now you just need to multiply it by the number of input tokens. And that's kind of what I'm doing here. So I have, so O1 is um, going to cost $15 per million tokens. So if I d divide that, I'll get the price per token. And I'll just times it by X, which is the number of input tokens. And I'll take 60 here. I'll take 60 here and I'll div divide that as well. And then Y will be the number of input token or output tokens. And then to calculate the number of input and output tokens for a specific lesson, I have the the prompt here, which is, and then we'll count up the input tokens. So we're, we'll literally just throw that through the tokenizer and we'll see it generates 1,009 tokens. So I already have that inputted here. And then we'll take the number, of, we'll take like the lesson plan that it generated and we'll throw it in here. And you see it generated 938. So I already have that here. So this will calculate us the costs for O1 preview. But actually one thing I noticed with O1 preview is because it does the internal internal um, chain of thought is that the number of output tokens 
or the number of reasoning tokens it was using was like a, around 2,000 every time. So if we count that towards our output token, let's just round this up to 3,000. That's how much it's going to cost us per lesson in using 01 preview. So let's calculate that. Wow. 19 cents. That's a lot of money. That's more than all the other ones, right? So if I want to do 19 cents, now let's do just like 9,952 times 0 0.19 cents. Holy crap, that is crazy. So you can see by far, it's actually the most expensive model. The It's $1,700 more than if I use Grok Beta. Grok is the second most expensive. Then it goes Claude. Um, Wow. So if I had to generate all the lessons in this website using just O1 preview, it would have cost me 18, like, like literally almost 2K, two racks. That's crazy. So cool. That That's literally how you calculate one of them. Um, one of the cheap cheapest models that I, I, I've been looking at is this Mistral AI models. These are, I really like this company. Uh, Mistral AI, they're really looking to build like models that could run on your computer. Um, but they also have an API. So you can see that they have top tier reasoning for high complexity tasks for only $2 in, per million input tokens and, and $6 per million output tokens. You can see $2. It's not the cheapest. Llama is actually the cheapest there, I guess. But let's just calculate that quick. Let's just see how much that's actually going to cost. Wow, I love llama, so cheap. I love, I love, I love a deal, especially when it comes to an AI. So um, this is pretty simple math. You do two times a million to get the price per token. You do the six here. So six dollars per million tokens. Two dollars, six dollars, and then and let's. Put this back to 938 because there's no in internal ch chain of thought thinking on that one. And we have like a pretty good price of so 0.76. Add that in here. So this is the price per lesson. Um, how much would that cost us in total if we generated that whole site using that model? Only $75, which can or cannot be expensive. And this this isn't even calculating like my evals and all that other stuff that I'm running. So it might even be even more money. I've probably already spent a lot of money on this site. <laughs> Funny enough, I just, I'm just finding this out right now, but I don't care because once these plans are generated, they're generated and we could just reuse them till the end of time. So yeah, let's see, cool. So pretty much, this is the price comparison for all the different models. I wish I had them sorted, but let's just like, let's just look. So the most expensive is 01 preview, right? At, it would have cost me almost 2K, 1890 to generate that whole web, generate my whole website there, right? Second is Grok. Let me shrink myself. Second most expensive is Grok. Right, second Grok. What else? What's third? Third is is like Claude. Like Anthropic. I've been just seeing news that people are just not happy with the price of the Anthropic models. Maybe the price doesn't really match the performance, but people are not happy with them. So we have Claude here. GPT four rows tied for four. What else do we have? Mistral AI is, tied, is number five. Gemini is six and llama is seven right one two i should have probably sorted this three four yeah um actually let, let's just do that right now we'll take the Let 
GPT-40. So for just GPT-40, so the most expensive is 01 Preview. Like, like I said before, now coming close is Grok at 1890. Coming third place is Claude Sinet at 1690. Or at six, 169. What's fourth? GPT 40. No, it does keep grouping up. GPT 40. What's five? Mistral. So I thought Mistral was actually going to be the cheapest, but guess that it's not. Next is Gemini Pro. And it's just looking like these models built by these big companies are just the cheapest, which kind of makes sense because just economies of scale. They're just huge companies. So there you go. That's the official rankings. I'm going to probably take a screenshot of this. Oh, screenshot four. I'm going to screenshot this for my friends. But that's the official rankings of how much it would have cost to generate the whole class pilot app if I were to use one of these models. Um, so yeah, this is just one dimension, which is price. But like if you're, sorry, let me just put this over here. Like if you're actually trying to figure out what model you want to use, you don't just want to look at price. You're also going to want to look at performance, depending on how important performance is. So that's probably like the two dimensions I care about is like price based on the performance and performance would probably be calculated by like some evaluation that you're doing on the models. And that could be a LLM based evaluation or just like you have your own methods of evaluation. But there you go. O1 preview is the most expensive model. Actually, that's not true. Claude has a super expensive one. Um, right here, the Opus it has 75 million per output token, and that's way more expensive than O1 Preview. So you'd be even more expensive than that. And I don't even know if you can justify that cost. Like this is such a small app, and it would have cost almost 2k. But Llama would have generated under 12 dollars, and Llama was pretty good. So thanks to Meta for building that. And yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. I hope you learned something about how to calculate how much your AI costs.